And hello, wherever you're watching, welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Chelsea. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. Kane. Sessegnon. It's with Bergwijn. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Son. And he's made headway. Keeper didn't quite do enough. Harry Kane just gets better and better with each passing year. In what way do you expect Kane to contribute? Well, Derek, I never thought I'd say this statement anytime soon, that Harry Kane is the best centre-forward in the world, and he is. He truly is. Conte. Abraham. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And now William coming into it. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Now Harry Kane. And cut out by Conte. How many times do we say that? William. Here's Kovacic. Tammy Abraham. Kovacic. Breaking at pace. It's with Bergwijn. Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. Kane. Lucas Moura. Sissoko. Magnificent challenge to win it back. He's given it away. William James Pulisic William well body in the way here's Ndombele untidy Lucas and Pulisic has it Lucas giving the ball away Hudson Odoi, and he was in the right place to intercept. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Lucas Moura, Kane, now Son. Well, sometimes you can't argue with top notch defending. Mateo Kovacic, no let up in the pressing department. Steven Bergwijn, Kane. A really sumptuous ball. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Punched away. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Aspili Quetta. N'Golo Conte. Mateo Kovacic. And Willian on the move here. Willian! The shot wasn't really far enough away from the goalkeeper, was it? No, but he picked up the flight nice and early. Well, Derek, just look at those. Nothing wrong with that idea. Not to be this time. N'Golo Conte. He's enjoying space. Abraham. Pulisic. Oh, right in the nick of time. This might be ideal for the counter. Promising looking ball. Son with the pass, but not what he had in mind. Conte. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Kane. 
And Lucas Mora again. It looks promising. Song! And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Underway again, and Tottenham with the advantage. The electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. Keeping the ball moving. Son. It's with Bergwijn. Well, that is that. The first half is over. A really interesting second half in store. And Chelsea get things going. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Fine teamwork to win it back. Abraham. Pulisic. Kovacic! Given the position he was in, he's not going to be especially pleased with himself. Well, he took the chance with power. Not always the best option. Sanchez. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And it's in for Chelsea. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Spurs passing it around nicely, but what can they do from here now? Ndombele, he must finish, and it's gone just narrowly widely. Well, not his laces, it's the inside of his foot, Derek. It's a decent effort. Rudiger has it. James. Here is William. Ndombele towards Lucas an attack full of promise in position to give them the lead maybe and in it goes well as we can see the keeper's done his best but there's nothing he can do from there he's not going to miss that one having conceded then it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response Steven Bergwijn. Sessegnon. It's with Bergwijn. Son. Now Harry Kane. Son. Read it superbly to take back possession. Pulisic. Tammy Abraham. Poor pass under no real pressure. And he's taken it away. Sammy Abraham. Not a good pass. It's with Bergwijn. Kane. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Kane. Kane! I'm not too... far away just a bit too much height on it well the keeper's beaten he's gone for precision over power it's a good effort so 20 minutes to go Kane now Aurier Kane the object of the exercise from the Spurs point of view is to get it forward and they're doing that rather well this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. William, Less than... Big chance to get them on terms. Well, it's gone in. A goal for Chelsea, who now are level. Number 12.
Once again, the sides are level. This is a kaleidoscope of shifting emotions. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Now Harry Kane. Sissoko. N'Golo Conte. Mount. Fruitful looking attack. And the cross into the middle. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. Sanchez. Now, what can they do from here? Son. Well, winning games is what it's all about. The crowd are expecting. Can these Tottenham players get the win? Can they take the lead? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. Well, having fallen behind, let's see what sort of response we get from Chelsea in this game. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Loftus-Cheek. Well, these Tottenham supporters have been a real driving force on the team's performance today. Can they push them over the line? A really sumptuous ball. Running with the ball confidently. Kane. The goalkeeper was called upon, and they still have an opportunity here. Well, as a goal down, all you've got to do is give your strikers a chance to get back in the game. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. That's right. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. 